Hey everybody, how you doing? It's me, Joe. Uh, the dog is already back and forth talking about the subject tonight is being relentless. And she is one relentless dog because she keeps wanting to come in and out, especially when I'm doing Facebook Live. So that is my little Miss Ellie and she's very good about coming in and out. Anyway, so I want to talk to you guys tonight about being relentless about what and going after what you want in your life. I talk about it a lot and I'm going to talk about it again. Hello, Rhonda. How you doing? You know, sometimes in life, we, we're not, and actually, I'm going to say, Rhonda's a really good example of that. She knew what she wanted in her life, and she went after it. And my dog, Ellie, is another one. She's over there um, whining about her food, which she's got plenty of it, but she wants more. So, and that's what we have to do in our lives. You know, what is it that you want in your life that you're going to go after, right? So, you know, for me, of course, it's business and multiple streams of income. But for you, it might be something with your family, or it might be something, a new job that you want to go after, or something that really puts you in that, in that limelight, right? So on my live radio show this morning, I had Jeffrey Hazlett on there, and we really talked about being relentless, and he's a maverick marketer and network guru. And the fastest path to cash is always networking. So the more you network with other people, the more your business or whatever it is you want is going to grow, right? So the more people you can come in contact with, the better off it is. But you can't always ask for the business. You also have to build those relationships. So build those relationships first and then ask them what, how you can help them. And in turn, they're going to come back and help you. And I, I talk about it all the time, and I'm going to talk about it again tonight. Because it really is a great way to get your name out there and get out there what you want all right so and as you know I am I'm a coach a business coach and life coach and so I'm gonna put that out there tonight I you know that's what I do I'm a business and life coach and I love helping people and I also sell toothpaste as you know I uh, sell my Hilo which I absolutely love and then also my live radio show and I'm a speaker so if you guys know of any speaking engagements uh, you'd like me to come speak at let me know I would uh, love to entertain the idea. I like small crowds and larger crowds to speak at, and then just depends on what it is that you guys have uh, for me to speak at. So let me know, uh, private message me here, send me a comment, whatever it is, and I would be happy to speak with you about it. And also if you're interested in the Hilo or the toothpaste or coaching, anything like that, always let me know because it's, um, it's really a good, it's a good, experience to be able to help other people. That's my number one goal is to help other people, help you guys become bigger, better, bolder, and stronger, but also learning how to be relentless. And I don't know if you can hear her, but Ellie's in the background whining because she wants more food. She's a dog that has to have her food level when she eats it, and if it's not up to a certain point in her bowl, she just sits and barks. So how is it with you guys and your businesses and whatever it is you're after? Do you wait till everything's level or do you wait till it's kind of, you know, mismatched and you really go after it? I, I, I'm kind of both, you know, a lot of times I like, I like things to stay the same, but I also like change. Now, I don't like constant, well, I shouldn't say that, I, I don't mind constant change, but sometimes it's also good to stay on the straight and narrow for a while and really go after what you're after. Go after what you want in life because a lot of times what will happen with me is I'll be going down a path and if I'm not doing something fast enough or it's not coming in fast enough, I'll uh, see the shiny little jewel over here and go over there and look for it or over here and, and can't, we can't do that. We have to just keep going down the path we're going. Now when I started these uh, two direct sales companies, it was kind of ironic because I wasn't looking for a direct sales, I, I, I just wasn't going to do it. I just was like, forget it. But I know people that are really successful with it. I was successful with it in the past. And then I thought, yeah, I'll try it. And the thing is, they, they both came around the same time frame. So when I decided to do them, they all kind of go with my persona, okay? So I want white teeth for when I go speaking. And I'm into health, and I like working out, I'm into fitness, but I'm also wanting other people, like my mom wears a, wears a Hilo now, because there's a panic button on it. And so I would be notified if she, if there's something wrong with her. 
And so that to me resonated because she won't wear a life alert. I've been begging her for three years and she won't wear one. So when you get into other companies or if you do other things, make it resonate with you. All right, make it resonate with your persona because if it doesn't, you're not going to even want to work at it. You know, it, it's such a great feeling when I know um, I'm selling a tube of toothpaste, but people are going to be getting a white smile because of it. Or if I sell a Hilo, I know that they're going to be getting, you know, more control of their health and more control of their loved ones. Even people who are far away can do that, um, do that SOS guardian, and then you would be notified. And to me, that's what, you know, made it worthwhile because with speaking and with coaching and with, uh, I work out, like I said, a lot, and it just all is, comes around the same circle. So really go after what you want and really be relentless about what you want in life. And it's okay to have multiple streams of income. If you don't want that, it's okay too. You don't have to. It's just what I choose to do because I'm somebody who gets bored really easily. Now, I love coaching. I love coaching my clients to help them become bigger and better and then go after what they want in their dreams. Because do you really want to stay where you're at? Do you want to stay there the rest of your life? Don't you want something more in your life? Well, I know I do and I'm hoping you guys do the same. Because the more you can think outside the box, the more change will come and the more you're gonna open up your mind and you know, we will always want to create our new normal. I mean, even if you get a new car or if you move or anything else, you, you're creating your new normal and you want to be able to do that. And Ellie is trying to create her new normal by barking at me now because it's going to just intensify as I ignore her because she knows I'm sitting here talking. So uh, kids are the same way, aren't they? That's exactly what they do. I remember when my son was little. Uh, the minute I get on the phone, man, he was wanting my attention and everything else. Well, that's their own little uh, way of um, working you and working the system, really. And same thing about being relentless. You got to be relentless in sales. You got to be relentless with networking with people and building those relationships. You want to build those relationships and you want to go have coffee with people. You want to go. I'm having coffee with a gal tomorrow that I just met last week and she contacted me. And, you know, she wants to get to know me better, which, of course, she also wants to tell me about her business. And guess what? I'm going to do the same. I'm going to tell her about my business. Uh, a plus in aggression, A plus in bold, A plus in kind. Aw, thank you, Linda. Thank you so much. Can you hear Ellie barking in the background? Say yay or nay. I never know if you guys can hear or not. But anyway, you just have to be relentless. She's going to ask me about my business. I'm going to ask her about her business. And But we're going to build that relationship. Even though I already know what she does and I don't need her services, but I might, I might know somebody who does. So you just never know. And same thing with me. She might, she might not want any of my serv. Can you hear her, Ellie? And she might not want any of my services. But you know what? Maybe she knows people that do. So it's just how you have to network and have to be with other people, and to show them love and kindness, but also network with them and give them, you know, like Rhonda, for example, on here. I'm, um, you know, got her going with the toothpaste and. So Give Ellie a hug. She is being a pistol. She won't even come over by me. But anyway, you know, got you started with the toothpaste. And Linda, too. Linda's actually started with the toothpaste. So it's all about networking. It's all about connecting. And also then Linda was selling something that I bought from her. So it's all about the network. It's all about, you know, getting to know more people. And Linda, what? Can't hear a dog barking. Can't hear you snap your fingers. <laughs> I should have filled up that bowl before this started, but I decided not to. I decided that she'll be behave herself, but just as children, we can't always control their behavior, can we? So, hey, you get the full throttle tonight. You get me snapping my fingers, and you get her barking, and then my, my little Dakota is sitting right here. Hang on, I'm going to go get Dakota because she's being so good. So this is my Dakota. This is my baby girl. She is part blind. And talk about being relentless. She is the epitome of being relentless because when I got her at five months old, she kept running into everything and I couldn't figure it out. So I took her to the vet and I said, you know, I, I don't understand what 
is going on with her? And the vet said, you know what? Don't keep her. She's only going to live to be two or three years old, and she'll probably develop some kind of cancer or you know other type of disease. And I said, I can't give her back. I, 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 already, I already knew I was in love with her, and I'd only had her a short time. And that was nine years ago. She's not had any problems. She's as healthy as can be. Uh, she gets around. I've taught her how to go up and down stairs and just learn her surroundings. And she's really good at following. And you know what? She's perfect. And the reason why also that I was able to keep, you know, I knew I wasn't going to give her back no, no matter what. But walking out of the vet's office, I must have looked like I was about ready to cry because then the receptionist at the vet's office said, you know what? Even dogs who are blind will be okay. Just teach her the way around the house, and that's exactly what I did. So she's relentless because she knows she's got, you know, she doesn't see as good. She can't play as well as, like, normal dogs do. But I'm going to tell you what, she is queen of the household, and she is queen bee. So even Ellie kind of backs away from her. So it really is. So that's another thing about being relentless. You just have to um, keep going keep going so anyway you guys I'm gonna let you go because she's gonna keep driving me crazy until I finally get her fed and the barking will just get louder and louder until that happens so you guys take care God bless uh, go forth and conquer live a bigger better bolder and beautiful life well you guys already do that anyways but keep going after it and I will talk to you tomorrow night all right take care God bless